guys uh, so now we will see the task what task you are going to do in your first lab experiment your first lab experiment uh, it's going to be bug converter for this semester of course we can always switch based on the theory what we cover uh, so this is going to be a bug converter in the power electronics lab i will explain the tasks so here you can see the lab report must be organized very well so th this is your first experiment so i am going to give you a clear idea what are the tasks you can expect and how can you do this and uh, the report must be organized on this template okay so here are here just an outline of the report the first there should be some introduction and the uh, experiment objectives and how to prepare the setup and checklist before power on the circuit uh, there is important you must check this one and how uh, what are the measurements and tasks you have to do in this uh, circuit or in this lab work and finally discussion and conclusion so these are the this is the way you can organize the report so first the introduction part just this is just a theory about bug converter how it works and this about these components some theory and the objective objectives are very important this is what you or this is your goal or these are the goals uh, you need to achieve from this lab experiment so please read this one very well so simply and also preparing the lab setup uh, we have this this is a kind of uh just for your information please read this one and also the checklist before you power on the circuit you have to go through this one and this is the actual circuit of the buck converter uh, this is this is the circuit is implemented in the pcb and the measurements and tasks so this is nothing but objectives so here what you have to do some parameters are fixed and some parameters are variable so what are the parameters are fixed for example input voltage is fixed we give you the voltage value that that is the value you have to use in the experiment and the inductor value is also fixed on the pcb you cannot change that and also you but other than that you need to change several other parameters so in your experiment we have three cases in the case one you need to change the duty ratio it means the variable is duty ratio and you have to keep all other parameters as constant for example switching frequency must be a constant value for example in our experiment or in your experiment you can use switching frequency as 100 kilohertz and a load resistance at 10 ohms not 10 kilo ohms just 10 ohms so this can be uh, this can be these these values can be constant and this one can be a variable so you can change the duty ratio and also you can the case two you can change the switching frequency and keep all other parameters as constant for example duty ratio can be 50 percent constant and load resistance can be just 10 ohms and case three you need to also change the load resistance this is the variable here in the case three and what are the constants for example switching frequency is 100 kilohertz constant and duty ratio is 50 percent constant so in each case you need to measure the input current output current and output voltage so you need to make a table and you need to record all these values and you need to calculate theoretically what can be the output voltage and also you have you are measuring by using multimeter the output voltage as well so you can compare them and you have to perform uh, the task like this so the under each case i had given the tasks very clearly what you have to do how you must calculate the efficiency you need to also copy the waveform sometimes from oscilloscope or print screen and you need to uh, show in your report so please read these tasks in each case uh, for example this is these are four tasks under case one and then there are three tasks under case two and there are three tasks under case three 
so you need to go through this uh, document uh, so after you complete the physical experiment in the lab then you need to perform the digital experiment that is nothing but simulation in MATLAB Simulink so you need to model this bug converter in MATLAB and you need to perform the simulation um, then you need to observe the results as well and finally you need to write your this, uh, conclusions and you can discuss what you are what you have learned from this lab assignment and so on that's all about this lab task uh, introduction and now I will also show you how the setup is look like physically in the lab now we are going to see one of the important experiments in our electronics lab that is buck converter so here i have built the buck converter circuit so and this is the circuit board so this is the free prefabricated one it's not like you get the components and build the circuit by yourself the circuit is already ready to use so i have just connected the input to the circuit and also getting output from the circuit okay so now i will explain and also please remember in any kind of lab experiments we need several equipments so the first one is this oscilloscope so for example this oscilloscope is called mixed domain oscilloscope it's one of the expensive instrument that we use in the lab uh, the specific model is mdo 4104c okay it's from tektronics this one you will use to see the uh, or to display the input and output waveform from the oscilloscope you can also measure the value of the input and output okay so the purpose of the oscilloscope is to display and measure the input output waveforms and also here you can see this is the power supply the power supply you, it can generate the dc voltage and you can apply this dc voltage to this buck converter so we know what the buck converter will do so it will buck or it will reduce the input voltage at the output for example if you give the 10 volt you may get 5 volt at the output okay so what is the circuit configuration is here uh, maybe i can just turn off the power supply now i am not using it right now uh, so i am taking the here you can see uh, the plus and minus from the power supply and then i am taking and then i am giving as an input to this circuit so in this uh, this is the input you can see here the signal and the plus and minus is going to the input side of this circuit and then the output I am taking from here so from these two terminals and this for example this blue cable is going to this multimeter and the other end of this okay by the way this is the load resistor you can vary the load from 0 ohm to 100 ohms so in in your lab experiment we asked you to keep the load as a 10 ohm uh, initially and later you can change the load but initially you please keep this load as a 10 ohm so how can you measure this is a 10 ohm or not or what is the value of the resistor so you please use the multimeter and connect the two ends of the multimeter to this variable resistor and you keep it in the ohms uh, so then it will this multimeter will show you the ohms value the resistance value then after you make sure you are putting this knob in the 10 ohms then you have to uh, make sure you are uh, okay you are using the value of the load resistance 10 ohms then you can just disconnect this multimeter and this is ready to use so one end of this output is going to this variable resistor and as you can see here sorry the one end of the circuit is going to this multimeter and then the ground is connected to this uh, resistor load resistor and then the other end of the load resistor is connected back to the circuit so the circuit is complete it means what i what i did here i just connected the load resistor uh, between this output of course i also have this multimeter to measure the output voltage so now you have uh, what are the important equipments you have you can just take a look very closely this is the load resistor this is only 10 ohms 10 ohms not kilo ohms and also uh, here you have this oscilloscope and here you have the power source other than this you also have these probes so for example this is a voltage probe 
this voltage probe I am putting across the MOSFET. So here you can see the MOSFET in this circuit board and this you are I am we can also measure the output voltage across this MOSFET and here uh, also I have the current probe. So this is the current probe and this current probe is connected uh, to measure the output current. So the output voltage, output current you can measure and also I have another current probe I can measure the input current if I need it. So this one is not connected yet. Uh, if I need it I can connect. So that's all. So you need to know about the probes. You don't need to change the settings in the probe but you should know at least this is the voltage probe to measure the output voltage and this is the current probe to measure the output current. So only uh, in your experiment so this is what you need. You need to measure three important parameters input current, output current and output voltage. Input voltage you already know how much you are going to apply. Maybe in your experiment you need to apply about 23.9 volt or 24 volt DC to this buck converter. So then you will measure the input current, output current, output voltage. Then you need to calculate different uh, parameters. And also please remember you have to change the duty ratio by changing this knob you can change the duty ratio and also you need to change the switching frequency you have to use this kind of the small screwdriver and then you have to use here to change the switching frequency value so this is how you have to change so you need to change three things uh, one at a time the first one is changing the duty ratio just use the hand and another one is changing the switching frequency another one is changing the load resistor value or load resistance value uh, so okay other than that the input voltage is fixed the inductor value is fixed everything else is fixed the switching frequency may be in the typical experiment you will keep it as a 100 kilohertz uh, I think that's all about this experiment um, so please uh, take attention or get some idea uh, what you are going to see and use in the lab. Then uh, once you are uh, having some idea then you are ready to come to the lab and start the experiment. And before you come to the lab you can also uh, go to the YouTube and check this oscilloscope. Special, I, that's why I had given this uh, specific number or the model of this oscilloscope. So you can see how to operate this oscilloscope. Uh, if you get some idea that will also be nicer when you come here to operate and get the result and make the calculations. That's all. Thank you for watching.